It has been a welcoming experience for not only being a Muslim but international. Delphi uh, encourages people from different religions and ethnicities. It's one of the most inclusive places I've worked at and I've been at. It's empowering. I've been in other schools where even though there were Muslims around, we didn't necessarily have a community. Although we have an MSA, the past two semesters and this semester, all the MSA meetings have been held during like class hours or lunch time hours, which is not very really flexible. Home, so to speak, so it's just like nice to have my own like community. It's, it's a little frustrating, especially when they don't understand what halal means. My mother actually went to this school, and when she went to this school, strangely enough, there were a few more halal options. I have talked to dining about this, and they said that halal food is just too expensive for them to bring onto campus. Post Hall and the UC, they only have grilled chicken has their halal options, and everything else is not halal. Any meat is not halal. The beef is not halal, everything else is not halal. Sometimes if you order something and you look over the counter, you can see them cooking your food on the same roof that was used to cook non-halal food, which no longer makes it halal. I'm a commuter, so like if there's like a break in between classes, I want like an actual like lunch lunch that feels me Cultural competencies is also part of the halal experience. I don't get to do a lot of them all the time. I mean, I have a space in my, in my office that I'm able to do that if and when I can. I tend to take off time, even if it's really important. For a long time, I would just pray at home, come here, go to classes, go home, and then make up all the other prayers. An academic as Muslim is, is really, it just works well together because you have that academic freedom, you have just freedom of time and flexibility. Sometimes I have to sacrifice class time or time that I have to do other things in order to keep up with my prayers. Since they the Interfaith Center, it's been a little bit easier to keep up with prayers. I would love it. <laughs> a part of me understands that it's a little bit difficult to figure out which day to give off to students. As Muslims, we're not sure what day is going to fall unnecessarily. However, just completely not giving us a day off, it's Sort of Adelphi should definitely give a day off on Eid because it's one of the only proper Muslim holidays. At least the first day, I want to spend time with my family. I think Adelphi should consider giving a day off on Eid. However, it's a private school, it's not in their rule book, so I don't think they should make it mandatory. Adelphi, as any other university, needs to be welcoming to people around the world and from different religions. I don't feel that any school district, any school, should get off for any religious holiday period. However, I understand that there is a tight schedule that students need to accord to. It's very difficult. It's hard to focus. Grading is hard. Balancing school and fasting isn't necessarily something we're new to because we've been doing it our entire lives. God says that during Ramzan, uh, he makes things easier for you. So in my perspective, I feel like it is kind of hard, but if you put your efforts into it, have goodwill, uh, it gets easy. I think it's doable. It's hard, but you just gotta do it. Not like personal stuff, but stereotypes and like name calls, it's, it's very, very common. When I was younger, I didn't wear the hijab until a very late age, so I was regarded with racism as somebody Black. Especially like when I'm out with my mom and I was like she wears a hijab and like when they pick on my mom I get like really angry. After I put on the scarf I had to fix racism as someone who was Muslim. I've had a faculty member make comments uh, years ago about uh, how surprised they were that my uh, father let me go to school this month, you know, this far, or uh, or how my now ex-husband let me work, or how he let me go to school. You know how in like elementary school they would um, always have like the videos of the 9-11? It was just uncomfortable. I remember life before 9-11. It was at a state university. The two, three months after that, I was walked into class by state police. I was a known member of the MSA. My father was hurt 
uh, was beat up attacked after 9-11. Family members had to take off their hijab after 9-11. I had friends who changed their names from Osama to Sam. Islamophobia is an issue, a topic that should be discussed more. Religion is does not create radical people. The word Islam means peace. If you're technically against Islam, you're almost against peace. God says if you kill one human being, it's as if you kill the whole of humanity. And if you save one human being, it's as if you save the whole of humanity.